Hi, good morning. I'm Professor Dato Sri Dr. Mike Chan. I've been in this field of regenerative medicine for the last 36 years, predominantly in Switzerland and Germany in the old days since the mid 80s. I sincerely think that there's a lot we can do in the field of regenerative medicine, and it's wonderful here to introduce this into Japan in a big way. After spending three more than three decades in Switzerland and Germany, and also involved traveling across all over the 65 countries across the world, I'm very much involved in medical conference trainings and scientific conference worldwide. And being a chairman and director of regenerative medicine in many bodies across the world, I, I'm so proud that I can contribute something here into Japan. I sincerely think there's a lot of things we can do in Japan and in the fields of regenerative medicine which involve stem cells. Now, everyone knows a lot about stem cells, but there's still a lot to be learned about stem cells. And today, constantly, we are still learning a lot about stem cells, regenerative medicine and biological integrative medicine. Thank you. In the case of placenta therapy, I know the Japanese has been very much involved in placenta therapy since the mid-50s. And uh, the same go across the world. The Swiss and Germans or even the Soviets in the old days, or even the Indians or the South Americans has been very much involved in placenta therapy. I spent so much time of my life involving placenta therapy and brought it in a way, big way into Asia in the mid-80s. My wife and I has been very intrigued by what placenta therapy can do. But again, we have to understand the source of the material, the type of placenta, the technology behind the manufacturing are all very important. It's not just a piece of placenta here. And we all know that placenta is a tree of life. And without the placenta, there's no life to the fetus. So there's a lot of things you have to understand in the case of placenta. I have imparted some of my knowledge why certain placenta are better. Why certain type of placenta, if they are processed in a different way, are much better. There's a lot of difference between placenta of the stem cells and placenta of the cells, you know, and placenta of the peptides. Or we call it the other way around. The stem cells placenta, the cells placenta, the peptides of the placenta, the exosomes of the placenta, and the substrate or amino acid of the placenta. It matters a lot because 60, feta, 60 pieces of fetuses, you know, placenta can be for one placenta to make into one Y or 5 ml stem cells. But again, one piece of placenta can also make into 6,500 to 8,500 pieces, wires of placenta. So it matters a lot in terms of the concentration, in terms of the production, whether heat is involved or is a cold process. Again, whether there's some culturing involved. So everything matters in the case of placenta technology. We would like to bring the best here the best technology to Japan and of course to the masses we can also offer the mid-range and the higher range together. The important thing is quality is so important and together with the efficacy. Thank you. I always look very highly on the Japanese in terms of their quality control in a lot of things they deliver and Japanese products are highly looked up across the world. I know Japan has been having a lot of Nobel Prize winner in form of technology on stem cells research and in terms of MMJ in Japan, we would like to bring it in a big way being a president and chairman for regenerative medicine of ASAM, Arab Europe Society of Preventive, Regenerative and Anti-Aging Medicine and also the Chairman for Thailand, Asia for A4M and the Chairman for many body. It's proud and my privilege to be also the Chairman of MMJ or the President uh, of MMJ and to bring it in a big way. All the knowledge, all the technology in a way in terms of our clinical experience having been involved in 26 clinics owned by us across the world, including in Switzerland, 
Germany a hospital there, a medical centre in Greece and all over the world. We are still expanding our European Wellness uh, Association, uh, uh, European Wellness Clinic all over the world. And it's wonderfully well that we can showcase the technology behind biological regenerative integrative medicine in a big way. It's a wonderful experience to get to know Dr. Iso Kimura and his wonderful wife, Kiko Kimura, for the last four years when we first met in America through an anti-aging conference and with that we mold the idea of formations of MMJ because there's so many things we can share in terms of technology, clinical experience. We've been dealing with thousands and thousands of doctors, doctors who are medical doctors who believe in the regenerative field of biological medicine and who believe that stem cells is the future and to me stem cell is not just the future it's already the present because there are so many other diseases and disorders where the treatments of conventional method has been exhausted and there's no solution I always say there's always a solution to everything because in biological medicine we believe that the body can heal by itself if we have to find and treat the root of the symptoms and not just to treat the symptoms alone. Let's hope we can bring more and work together with all the doctors in MMJ and bring it to one of the best associations for knowledge and technology in all Japan and also a body to be recognized worldwide. We will bring all the technologies we have from America to Russia, from Russia, from America, from Asia, from Europe, Switzerland, Germany, Greece and all parts of the world to Japan and work together with the Japanese doctor. Thank you so much.